Hello there. Uh, my name is Rachel Hall. I will be your yoga guide for the next 30 minutes. This practice is going to focus on stretching the front of the body. So more focus on chest area and hip flexors, kind of combating all of the sitting that um, a lot of you are probably doing right now. <laughs> so this class is designed to not have any props, but if you normally practice with a yoga block or a strap, um, I would recommend having that to the side just in case you want to use that. <clears throat> so let's find a comfortable seat. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit on your heels. Remember, I'm just your guide, so you decide what is good for you and your body. Once you've found the choice of seat that you want to have, take your hands up to your knees, turn the palms up, and then let's close the eyes. So always take these first few moments to recenter our breath, our body, so focusing on your inhales and your exhales, allowing your body to relax. Take a really deep inhale, really filling the lungs, and then a full exhale. Let's do that again, really deep inhale, and full exhale. The next time you inhale, hold it briefly at the top so that you can feel that stretch happening in the chest and the collarbones, and then exhale. So it's just a brief hold. We'll do that a couple of times. So deep inhale, holding at the top, relax the shoulders as you hold, and then full exhale. Two more of those. Inhale. And exhale. One more. And you fall back into the natural rhythm of your breath. Allow the chin to come down towards the chest. And then you can take the head side to side, stretching in the neck. You can take this into full circle or just stay with the half circle. You're going full circle, go the other way. Coming back to center, chin towards chest. Now you can start to open the eyes. If you're sitting cross-legged, let's switch to crossing up the legs. And then we'll do some dynamic movement. Take the arms really wide. Big inhale here as you exhale over to the left. Inhale to come back up, exhale over to the right. We'll do that a few more times. So inhale to center, exhale to stretch. <clears throat> Keep your sit bones anchored on the floor. Over to the other side. Once you come back over to the left, stay there. Start to turn the gaze up towards the ceiling. Reach the arm overhead like you could touch the opposite wall. From here, take the top hand and reach over that left knee. And then move your left hand so that your shoulder distance, holding over the left leg. You can even kind of press yourself back a little bit with the hand so that your hips stay on the floor. Take a few breaths. Walk the hands back in, coming back up to center. We'll do the other side, so going over <clears throat> to the right, anchoring down to that left hip, turning up towards the ceiling, reach the arm overhead, lift the chest.
top hand back down to the floor, reaching over right knee. Again, we position the right hand so that your arms are about shoulder distance. Press those hips into the floor. Take a few breaths. Rotate, so we'll twist over to the left, right hand comes onto the left knee, other hand comes right behind you. First turn the chest towards the back of the mat, and then you can start to turn your gaze. Remember to breathe through your shoulders, relax, your neck relax. Back through center, twist over to the right. Inhaling, we come back through center. Let's come to all fours. Hands are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. Plant those feet firmly into the floor. Let's do a couple cat cows. So as you inhale, allow the heart to come down towards the floor. Exhale, curl and round. Even pressing the low back up towards the ceiling as you bring the chin towards the chest. Inhale, heart dips down towards the floor. Keep pulling the belly in towards the spine. Exhale, curl around. One more of those. Inhale for the cow action. Exhale for cat. Bring yourself back to a neutral place. So press the left knee, shin, and top of the foot firmly into the floor. Let's hover our right knee. And then keeping the knee bent, we'll take the right foot to be parallel with the sole, the ceiling. So the sole foot and ceiling is parallel. As you bring the leg up, try not to dip in the low back. Pull the belly in. From here, we'll exhale, bring the knee towards your nose. So curling and rounding, engaging the abs here. Inhale, come back to this position with the leg behind you. Lifting as high as you feel you can without opening the hip. You want to keep that knee pointed down. Exhale, curl it around. Inhale, back to this position. Exhale, curl it round. Inhale to open. Let's do one more. Exhale. And inhale. Take the knee back down to the floor. Press the shin and the top of the foot into the floor. We'll do the left side. Cover the knee and then take that leg back. Keep the leg bent. Press the sole of the foot towards the ceiling. This is your inhale as you exhale, curl and round. Knee towards nose. So very similar to cat. Inhale, almost like cow, but leg is lifted. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Remember as you bring the leg back, inhale. Belly button towards spine. One more time. Set the knee down. Take the knees a little wider. Big toes come together. We'll sink back into child's pose. Give the arms a rest by turning the palms up. Forehead can rest to the floor. Take a few breaths. On your next inhale, begin to lift back up. All four position. Bring the knees back underneath you. Feet right behind the knees. 
So you can repeat what we just did by just lifting the leg, or if you want to take it a little further, you can add an arm motion. So we take the right leg up, keep the leg bent, press that shin and left foot, knee into the floor. Now begin to take the left arm up. So opposites here. This is your inhale. Now exhale, knee and elbow come together. So try to stay as stable as you can. Inhale to open up. Again, belly button presses towards spine. Exhale, curl and round. We'll only do three of these. One more. As you come into the inhale, stay here for a moment, just holding. If you can reach back to grab your foot, go ahead and grab. Press the foot into the hand. If you can't reach the foot, no big deal. Just keep yourself in that same position without holding. If you have a hold of the foot, release, and then come back down to all fours. <clears throat> Let's do the other side. Stabilize through the, le the right shin, all the way from knee to foot. Take the left leg up. Take the right arm up. This is your inhale, exhale, curl, and round. Again, try to be real stable. Belly is engaged. Right leg is engaged. Exhale. Inhale, expand, exhale. Inhale to open up. So again, if you can reach for that foot, grab a hole, or just stay in the position for a moment, working those muscles. Gentle release. Let's come back into child's pose for a moment. Resting, turn the palms up, forehead to floor. Breathe into your low back. So on your inhale, let's come back up. Knees come closer together. Walk the hands out a little further. We'll come into our downward dog. So curl the toes, lift the hips. <clears throat> Let's pedal the feet. So reach the right heel towards the floor as the left leg is bent. And then switch. It's called as walking the dog. Do that a couple times. Your gaze is between your feet. So don't look forward, look back. So make sure you finish on the left side and then straighten both legs as best you can. <clears throat> Press yourself away from the floor with your arms. Shoulders right into the socket. Attempting to reach the heels towards the floor as we lift our sit bones. Take a few breaths. Let's walk the feet a little closer together. Lift your right leg up behind you. Bend the knee, open up the hip. So we're turning the hip or the knee away from us. And then turn the chest down towards the floor. Almost like you could reach that right heel towards the left sit bone. Straighten out the leg. Rebend one more time. Extend the leg again. And then we turn back towards the mat, take the foot back down to the floor. Other side. Bend the left knee, bring that leg up. Turn the knee out. Keep turning chest towards mat. Extend the leg. Rebend it. Extend again. You know our shoulders burning? <laughs> Let's turn the leg back down. Set it to the floor. Big inhale. As you exhale, let's walk all the way up to the top of the mat. We're folded down. Inhale, hands come out to the shins. We reach our chest forward, halfway lift. Exhale, folding down. And again, inhale, lift, halfway. Exhale to fold. 
slight bend in the knees, we lift all the way up. Reach and stretch. Hands come to heart. Let's do some movement. Sun salutation C, or what we call lunge salutation. Inhale, bring the arms up. Grab a hold of the left wrist with your right hand and side bend over to the right. Feet are anchored to the floor. Inhale to come back up. Grab a hold of the right wrist with the left hand over to the left bend. Inhale to come back up. A little bit of an upper back bend here. Exhale, bend the knees, hands come down to the floor. Take your right leg all the way back. Set the knee to the floor. So again, press all the way from knee to top of foot, the shin into the floor. Draw your belly in, inhale to come up. We reach the arms up first for just a moment, get your stability. Now take your hands and interlace them behind you. Can you straighten the arms any amount? Take a deep breath into the chest. Inhale, release the arms, going back up. Try to stay stable here. Press the feet and the shin into the floor. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Curl the back toes. Lift the knee, take the leg all the way back. Lower yourself down to the floor. So knees come to the floor, we lower the chest. Flatten the tops of the feet to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift yourself back up into downward dog. Take a moment to breathe. So let's take that right leg up behind us and turn the leg out just like we did earlier. Exhale, bend the knee, take the foot all the way next to your right hand. Left knee comes down to the floor, press the shin into the floor. Inhale, come up, reach. Take those hands behind you, interlace. Can you switch the interlacing so other index finger is on top? Open the chest. Tailbone reaches down, heart lifts. Inhale, release the arms back up to the ceiling. Exhale, hands come down. Curl the back toes, lift the back knee, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, reach, extend. Hands to heart. Let's repeat on the other side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sinking knees, hands come down. Take the left leg back. Knee comes to the floor. Stabilize through the limbs and then come all the way up. Take your right forearm to your right thigh and stretch over to the right. <clears throat> so you're reaching that left arm overhead, side bending, not necessarily back bending. Remember to hold the belly in and reach the tailbone down. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands to the floor, step it back. Lower down. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra. Exhale, come back, downward dog. Inhale to lift the left leg, extend that leg, turn it out. And exhale, bring the knee towards the chest, foot by the left hand, right knee down. Inhale, lift and rise. Let's take the left forearm to the left thigh. We reach over to the left with the right arm. Inhale, slowly come back to center, stay stable. Exhale, hands to the floor. Curl the back toes under, lift the back leg, step forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Hands to heart. <clears throat> Take a moment to just breathe.
Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, folding down. Let's take our right leg back. So high crescent lunge instead of a low lunge. <clears throat> Stabilize. So back leg is really firm, like you could get that hamstring to go up towards the ceiling. <clears throat> Press down into the front foot. We come all the way up. So we reach the tailbone down, lift the heart. Reach the arms up. Take a moment to just breathe. From here, take the hands down in front of your heart. On the exhale, rotate as best you can towards the left. So try to get the opposite elbow, either to rest on the knee area or maybe to the outside of that thigh. Back leg is really firm. You can always do this in low lunge, knee to the floor if it's a little bit more stable for you. We inhale, come back through center, but take the hands down to the floor. Bear weight into this left foot. Bring the right leg up behind you. So a little bit of a standing splits here. <clears throat> You're really reaching that hamstring up towards the ceiling, folding over the leg as best you can. And then we'll set that foot down next to the left foot. Inhale, come all the way up. Reach and stretch. As you exhale, come down. Let's do the other side. Left leg comes all the way back. Get that leg to be really firm, stable, and then we come up. First, reach the arms up. Take a breath or two here. As you exhale, hands come down in front of the heart. And then we'll twist over to the right. So elbow to that thigh or maybe the outside. Back leg is really firm. Pick a spot with your eyes so that you can stay stable. Remember you can always lower the knee to the floor. Inhale, take the hands down to the floor. Remember, we're going to shift the weight into the right leg. Lift the back leg, standing splits, or whatever you can do there. Mine definitely doesn't look like splits, but that's where I'm at. Let's set that foot all the way down to the floor. Lift up halfway, inhale. As you exhale, let's step all the way back, both feet, lower down to the floor. So we're on our bellies. Just take a moment to be there. <clears throat> Hands um, can be underneath your forehead. Take the feet almost as wide as your mat. Rest the tops of the feet onto the mat. Let's take our hands down by our low ribs. So kind of where your ribs end, that's where your hand is going to go on the mat. Press the feet into the floor. Knees might lift off the floor. Inhale, lift the chest. Look at the top of your mat, cobra. Exhale, lower down to one side of the face. Let's repeat that. Inhale, lift. Really working those back muscles. So shoulder blades are squeezing towards each other and down the back. Belly is pressing in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift and rise. Legs are engaged. Tailbone reaches away. And then hands can come underneath the forehead. Breathe into your low back. <clears throat> Take your arms by your sides <clears throat> so that your palms turn down. Now as you inhale, lift your legs, lift your chest, and then maybe lift your arms. Like you could reach back towards your toes. Take a breath. Belly button is pressed to the spine. Tailbone is reaching towards your heels. And then on your next exhale, we lower down. So you can repeat that, this locus, 
If you wanna go a little bit further, maybe we can add a bent knee. So you would bend your right knee, maybe grabbing a hold of the right foot. Remember, if you can't reach the foot, then just go for what we just did. Other arm is going to come forward. So as we inhale, we lift the leg, the arm, and then this is like a half bow pose. So press that foot into the hand. Same engagements as before, belly in, tailbone away. On your exhale, lower down. If you grab the foot, we'll switch. The left side or just full locust. Other arm comes forward, we inhale, lift. And exhale to lower, hands underneath the forehead. Give yourself a rest. So you can repeat locust again, either arms by your sides or maybe you can challenge yourself and bring your arms into like a Y position. If you want to try for full bow, which is grabbing both feet at the same time, you can go there. So this is locust and I'll show you bow. So we'll bend the knees, grab onto the feet. Bring the knees a little closer together. So all together we do it at the same time. Inhale, lift, either in your locust or your bow. Same engagements on both. Belly in, heart lifts, tailbone reaches away, gaze is at the top of your mat. Take a few breaths. And then lower down. Relax. We'll do one more of those. So if you've been doing locust and you want to challenge yourself to do bow, I encourage you to try. But you pick what feels best for you. Ready? Inhale, lift. Two more breaths. So inhales and exhales. And then we lower down. Hands underneath the forehead, breathe into the low back. Bend both your knees, and then just windshield wiper your feet back and forth. Set the feet down. We're going to turn onto our back. <clears throat> knees are bent, feet are on the floor. Let's pull the right knee in. Keep your left leg bent, foot on the floor. From here, we can stretch our right leg straight. So hands can be right behind the thigh. The higher you go, the more stretch you're going to feel. So if your hamstring's really tight, keep it down towards the root of the thigh. Take a few breaths. You can even like point and flex your foot or make circles if you like. We're just trying to neutralize our low back. So your back should be on the floor. Rebend the knee, plant the foot onto the floor, grab the left leg in. Same thing, you straighten the leg. Maybe pointing and flexing or making circles with that foot. Bend the leg. Let's pull the knees in towards the chest. Give yourself a hug. And then we'll rotate. So knees go over to the right. The right hand can guide both legs over. Left arm extends out to the side. You can turn your head and your gaze to the left as well. Inhale, bring those legs back up. Exhale, over to the left. Bring the leg 
hands back up. Give yourself one more hug. You can make circles if you like. Make sure you go the other way. Feet come to the floor. So you can always keep the knees together, feet a little bit wider for your shavasana, or if you want to extend the leg. Just find yourself in a comfortable position. We'll be here for at least a minute. Close the eyes. The purpose of Shavasana is to relax. To find that connection to your breath again if you've lost it through your practice. Do a little bit of a scan through your whole body, with your mind, relaxing areas where you feel like you might be tense. Attempt to have a longer exhale here. Soften your face, soften your neck. And just relax. feel like you need a longer resting time, then please by all means stay. If you'd like to come up with me and bend the knees, roll to a side, stay there for a moment. Make sure you open your eyes as you start to push yourself up. Coming back to a seated position like we started in the beginning of class. Hands together at heart center and bow the head towards the heart. Having gratitude as always for the practice. And I appreciate you joining me for today. I hope you have the, a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much. Namaste.